Dear students, welcome to our YouTube channel Vidya for Success. In this video, let us study characteristic features of one of the division of plant kingdom that is bryophyte. Yes, dear children, in our last videos, we have studied three different classes of algae. So, there we have understood that algae are primitive group of plants they are primitive in this uh, habitat in their uh, body organization and in their mode of reproduction so in all the processes what we have seen they are primitive but when we are moving ahead in the classification the uh, complexity of body organization will be get increases so now we are going to study the second division of plant kingdom that is bryophytes. So bryophyte is the second division where we can see some kinds of plants. So these plants are comparatively little complex than algae. So let us now understand uh, what is the habitat of these algae and how do they multiply and what is the actual structure of these plants. So bryophytes uh, are growing in soil but for some of their processes, life process, they are depends on water. But in the algae we have seen algae are aquatic in their habitat. So whatever may be the process in their life that is fully takes place in the water. But bryophytes are little advanced so that they uh, try to adopt into the soil so that they leaves in soil but some of the essential processes what uh, is taking place in their life they depends on water so that commonly bryophytes are called as amphibians of plant kingdom amphi means what both clear like a frog frog we are calling as amphibian is it not why we are calling as amphibian it can survive in both the habit is it not so it can live in water as well as it can survive on soil so because of that it is called as amphibian so similarly bryophytes are also called as amphibians because they lives in soil but for the sexual reproduction they depends on water that means for the uh, movement of gametes and for the fusion of a gametes they actually require water so because of this bryophytes are called as amphibians of plant kingdom children this is very important they will ask this question for one marks why bryophytes are called as amphibians of plant kingdom what is the reason yes they are habited to soil but they depends on water for sexual reproduction so this is why we are calling bryophytes as amphibians of plant kingdom and if you see their plant structure what is displayed on the screen uh, it is showing some of the parts like it is showing leaf like structure and it is showing stem like structure and root like structure but not all are well um, developed clear they appears like leaf but they are not actually leaf they have stem like structure but they are not actually stem they have root like structure because they are not actually roots understood so this group of plants usually grow on the humid and shaded areas that means in which uh, area and the humid is there and shade is there in that region we can see the growth of bryophytes they usually grow on the surface of uh, rock and on the surface of wall where the moisture content is more clear so humid and shaded places are the best habitat for the growth of bryophytes so plant body of bryophytes more differentiated than algae as i said these are the plants showing root like structure stem like structure and uh, leaf like structure so this uh, plant is called as a thallus because it is not showing the presence of 
uh, actual leaf stem and root understood so it is uh, erect that means the pros, uh, it going upright on the surface of soil and it is attached to the substratum substratum with the help of rhizoids what i say, told you that is a root like structure those are named as rhizoids understood so with the help of rhizoids they are actually get attached to any of the substratum it may be wall and it may be rock or it may be a uh, soil so to that substratum they are closely get attached with the help of rhizoids so these are the different uh, examples of uh, bryophytes so let us move on to the structure of bryophytes so body is uh, well differentiated compared to the algae that means we can uh, just observe the leaf like structure here stem like and root like structure so this is what called as differentiation so this structure we were not seen in the algae right but these plants are showing number of different plant uh, parts leaf like stem like and root like structures clear so why we are not actually considering these parts as actual leaves and stems and uh, roots because they does not consist of vascular tissue actually when we consider plant all the plant parts uh, consist of vascular tissue that means xylem and phloem for the circulation of water and water minerals and food material but these plants are non vascular plants that means they does not consist of any vascular tissues for the circulation of water mineral and food material so that because of the absence of vascular tissue we are not considering leaf like structure as a leaf stem like structure as a stem clear root like structure of uh, as a root clear so instead of calling root we are using the one more terminology rhizoids so rhizoids they just help in attachment it give anchorage to the plant and we are not considering uh, the part as a stem instead of that we are calling it as a stem like structure because it leads to the formation of leaf like structure clear just it will give support to the leaf like structure so why we are not calling it as a leaf because it does not consist of vascular tissue clear so the main reason why we are not considering the parts as a leaf stem and root is because of the absence of vascular tissues understood right so they lack true roots stems and leaves so true root is not present stem is not present and leaf is not present just it is having leaf like stem like and root like structure then the main plant here is named as gametophyte that means uh, uh, the main plant is meant for the formation of gametes so why we are calling the main plant here as a gametophytic plant because it is meant for the formation of gametes male and female gametes they are mainly produces by the main plant itself and it is having only one set of chromosome only single set of chromosome is present so because of that it is also called as a gametophytic plant understood this you have to remember the main plant body in the bryophyte is gametophytic plant so the what uh, whatever the picture i have displayed here all these are the main plant so they are actually haploid in their uh, structure they are named as gametophytic plants then how do this gametophytic plants reproduce so they reproduces by two different method they show asexual type of reproduction as well as sexual type of reproduction understood so asexual reproduction takes place commonly by means of fragmentation so fragmentation means a parental body divides into number of pieces and each piece develops into a new plant new bryophyte and some of the species they produce the spores during asexual reproduction you can see in the third uh, picture here this is actually marcantia a type of bryophyte on the surface of uh, this plant you can notice a small cup like structures so these cup like structures actually meant for the formation of spores they are the 
asexual uh, spores actually gametes are asexual spores so those spores produces within this cup like structure understood so gamete are the spores asexual spores they are produces in some of the plant for asexual reproduction then they also reproduces by sexual method how do they reproduces by sexual method yes actually during the sexual reproduction the plant produces gametes understood children so always during the time of sexual reproduction the organisms produces gametes so plant is a gametophytic as i told you before and this is going to produce gametes male gametes as well as female gametes so because of this purpose the plant is named as a gametophytic plant so let us have a look into the uh, sex organs in the bryophytes so the sex organ in gametophytes are multicellular that means it is it, those are made out of many cells and the male gamete produces within a specific organ that organ is called as male sex organ and the male sex organ is named as antheridium so this is the one more terminology new terminology right antheridium is actually male sex organ children these are all the terminologies you need to memorize understood so male sex organ in this plant is antheridium so what is the function of male sex organ yes it is going to produce male gamete so name of the male gamete here is anthrozoites understood so antheridium is the male sex organ within that sex organ it is going to produce a male gametes called as anthrozoites anthrozoites are actually motile uh, structures they are considered to be a male gametes similarly the plant produces female sex organ female sex organ is called as archegonium so in this diagram you can notice the blue color one what we are observing here those are antheridium and the green color flat shape structure what we are uh, observing in this diagram those are archegonium understood so antheridium is male sex organ that is in disc shape and archegonium is female sex organ this is actually flask shaped organ so what is the function of female sex organ so female sex organ produces female gamete so female gamete here is egg so here we have to understand the differences between antheridium and archegonium archegonium is a female sex organ produces only one egg only one gamete will be produces but antheridium antheridium is a male sex organ it produces many anthrozoites many motile gametes are going to produced by these structures understood what is the next step because till now we have understood that the main plant is gametophytic plant and that plant going to produces sex organs male and female sex organ and those sex organs produces gametes what is the next step of development so in the next step in this next step anthrozoites actually releases to water as i told for the sexual reproduction plant need the help of water is it not because of that we, we are calling this plant as a amphibian so when the gametes releases into water they swim in water and reaches archegonium so there is a opening will be present at the tip of archegonium so that anthrozoites reaches the tip of uh, the female sex organ and uh, where they get enters inside and it leads to the fertilization that means male gamete fuses with the female gamete so this this is actually takes place within a female sex organ understood and next the fertilization needs leads to the formation of zygote so zygote is a diploid organ diploid structure so this diploid structure does not leads to the formation of one more gametophyte understood instead of that 
this zygote undergo reductional division reductional division is nothing but meiosis clear so this is very important process so zygote undergo reductional division and produces a one more plant body that is sporophyte clear so this is what we are calling as alternation of generation that means in the plants we can observe two different phases one is gametophytic phase and another one is sporophytic phase understood right so the first stage the first stage what we have seen in the bryophyte is gametophytic phase clear and after the zygote formation zygote undergo meiosis by meiosis it will form a one more plant body that is called as sporophyte so this sporophyte is actually grow on the surface of gametophyte gametophyte because it need to uh, absorb food for its development so for that purpose it depends on the gametophytic plant here you see sporophyte is free living attached to gametophyte for nourishment so for it it is actually getting nutrition from the gametophytic plant and this sporophyte again going to form spores so those spores germinate and again develops into a gametophytic plant so this is what the cyclic events can be seen in the members of bryophytes that means the life cycle of the plant started from gametophytic plant and it again produces sporophyte and that sporophyte again going to form gametophytic plant so this you can clearly understand by studying this life cycle so here uh, i have labeled the main plant as one so this is the first plant that means they, uh, i have uh, numbered here so this main plant is a gametophytic plant so you know the reason right why we are calling it as a gametophytic plant because it produces gametes so the main plant body function is the formation of a gamete and one more is it is haploid plant clear so this haploid plant consist of male as well as female branches so the same plant within the same plant we have two different branches uh, male branch produces male sex organ what is the uh, name of male sex organ yes that is antheridium understood you can see here the male uh, branch is actually producing antheridium then you look into the female branch female branch indicated by a one more symbol that means circle below that plus mark so this uh, female plant produces a sex organ female sex organ that is archegonium understood so antheridium produces what sperm it is a male gamete and archegonium produces egg it is a female gamete so in the next step uh, the anthrozoites swim in water and reaches the female gamete present within the archegonium so as a result of fusion the zygote forms so zygote is actually diploid in nature that means it is actually forming by the fusion of haploid uh, gametes so when the haploid structure fuse together and form uh, one more uh, this thing diploid body that is uh, actually here named as a zygote understood so zygote formation takes place within the female sex organ and in the next step uh, that zygote undergo meiotic division reductional division so by the reductional division this is going to form a one more plant body on the surface of gametophytic plant itself you can clearly observe that 
observe that the leaf like structure what we are going to see in the second diagram in the second diagram that is gametophyte you can see that is also labeled here clear so the leaf like structure or the base of the plant is actually gametophytic clear on the surface of gametophytic plant it will form a sporophytic plant clear so this is what called as this is what called as alternation of generation actually when the uh, formation of plant started it started with gametophytic plant and later as a result of sexual reproduction the plant uh, formed a uh, one more uh, structure that is sporophytic structure clear so sporophytic structure actually grew on the gametophytic plant because it need nourishment it need nutrition for nourishment it is depends on gametophytic plant understood now yes what is the function of sporophytic plant so sporophyte is going to produce spores so these spores are germinates and again develops into gametophytic plant understood children so this is what the life cycle that means it keep on going keep on going from gametophytic to sporophyte again from sporophytic to gametophyte like this it keep on continuing its generation in the environment that means in its actual habitat understood now yes so you have to learn this characteristic feature that means what is the habitat of bryophytes and what is the main plant body in bryophyte and what type of uh, sex organs it will be produces and what is the uh, name of gametes and uh, why the gametes are formed and how the zygote is going to form sporophytic plant and uh, what is the function of sporophytic plant so all these things step by step you have to recall you have to understand these things understood so this is what they will ask in the examination in the examination they will just ask you to write the characteristic features of bryophytes so in the bryophytes again we have two different divisions we are going to study in the next video so those divisions are actually done based on the type of sporophytic and gametophytic plant understood